Hello, my name is Liam, and I'm from a company called Coalition Vans that have built this beautiful handcrafted Volkswagen Crafter. Now, I'm going to talk you through the build, I'm going to show you around the build, and I'm going to give you a proper van tour of this stunning, stunning van home. This van has been created by hand, and I'm not talking anything bought from a shop that is pre-made, flat packed, anything like that. Every single cut in this van has been cut by hand. There have been no definite plans for this van, it has been built off the cuff. At the start of this build we had a rough idea of what we were going to do. The customer gave us some plans regarding layout but then pretty much gave us free run of the entire van to do what we wanted creatively and that is the best thing that could have possibly happened because we really went to town on this everything has been well thought about from when it was a bare van sound deadening insulating vapor barrier in framing out ready so that we can build all this wonderful furniture everything has been thought about meticulously and it has taken a lot of thought to get it to this quality first of all i'm going to talk you through external the outside of this van is a beautiful the best white color that you can ask for in a Volkswagen double glazed opening wind resistant windows which have blackout blinds and fly nets and safety locks also which are such good quality and do their job perfectly at the back of the van we have these extending pods which bring the van out another five inches on each side which means the width of this van is actually six foot five at the back with these pods ordinarily a normal grown adult human wouldn't be able to lay side to side in this van but because of the extended pods it makes it so roomy and it gives so much more space to the rest of the van because we're saving that on having a four foot double width ways we've also added on the roof a 450 watt solar panel which the performance wise is just one of the best on the market it keeps this van powered up keeps the lithium batteries charged brilliantly even in low light on the outside of the van above the sliding door we have the two lay awning which is a premium awning the awning is such good quality again wind resistant hold it securely to the ground and it is in a sexy sexy black color which again contrast against the white van at the front of the van the customer requested bull bar or crash bar an extra safety feature for him but also it looks really cool the van is wonderfully complemented by these rogue alloys rogue alloys are some of the best on the market these rogue alloys along with the all-terrain tires just set this van off beautifully and make it look more off-road and aggressive and more overlander style towards the back of the van at each side we have service points on the driver's side we have the electric hookup for when you're on campsites to keep the batteries charged and on the passenger side we have the water fill up point again those are black which with the side pods the windows the bull bar the awning all look beautiful at the rear of the van you will notice a fifth wheel which is a fifth row alloy with an all-terrain tire and that is mounted on a williams spare wheel carrier on the other door there's a ladder which you can use to access the solar panel to clean it and also get on the roof if you want to put any luggage up there the wood used in this van is a maple finish ply now we've used three different thicknesses of ply in this van we've used six mil for lower level wool finish but you can't really see that in this van because most of it's either under the bed or behind this seating area and that was just to save weight and also you didn't you didn't need a feature behind there because you don't you don't see it the lats that you can see across the walls and on the ceiling and they are 12 mil maple finish ply again lighter weight did say earlier in this video that every one of these strips is hand cut this is not acoustic board which you can buy in chops or any, anything like that this is all handmade hand cut hand laid everything and then the cupboards and the bed and the seating area and the kitchen are all made of 15 mil so what we've tried to do is reduce the thickness of ply to reduce the weight where possible a lot of people will say that this looks like a heavy van but there's not actually a lot to it the bed obviously is hollow there's not a lot under the bed the kitchen is just a frame and there's so little wood used in these units it's essentially four pieces of ply which is quite small pieces of ply on this unit so we've tried to reduce the weight where possible lighting in this van was very well thought about and we thought about for a long time and even still 
still, after we thought about it for a long time, we still did some little changes. Inside these cupboards here, the cupboards that you can see right now don't have doors on. And that was the customer's request. You wanted them open. We wanted lights inside those so that whatever's in there, it's easy to see. We added lighting inside the cupboards, but also light underneath the cupboards, which shines down for living room light. Even inside the cupboards, which have doors on, that is also lit up as well. So again, easy to find things that are in the cupboard in the dark, for example. But also, <laughs> you put the inner cupboard lights onto a separate wiring system, didn't you? So you don't have to have them on permanently. Yeah, so those aren't on permanently, just on for this feature, really. We've got three, three light systems in this van. In fact, four light systems, technically, but we have internal cupboards, external cupboards, ceiling lights, and then the Max van has its own lighting as well. So we've got four different ways to light yeah. up the van, and each one of those actually changes the mood of the van if you just have one of them on. So, for example, we turn the ceiling lights off, just have the under lights on. It's light outside, so you can't get the effect, but it's a very nice mood light. And then if you want a bit more light, you can turn the ceiling lights on. I'm gonna give you a close up view of the main features of this van. So, starting over here behind the driver's seat, we have this movable table. When you sat there, you can have the table moved up to you. If you added tool bit bases at any point, you can have that as a table for that as well. This is fully adjustable and removable, so you can take it off if you don't want it at all. This is a black finish. It's actually oak, which has been dyed and then varnished, which gives it a nice sort of satin finish. It was a bit of an experiment, but a really nice finish. It's ended up coming out really good, and so is the kitchen worktop, but I'll show you that shortly. Then we move on to the seating area. It's quite a large seating area in this van, actually. And we've got this premium cushion here with a knee roll on it and the buttons and everything. We wanted to give an extra special feel to this seating area. Up to the windows, it's double glazing. They're wind resistant. The struts are so strong, that it's actually quite tough to pull the windows in once they're out. Four ways of latching it down and also locks there as well, so they can be locked from the inside. And then we have the fly net, so you can have the window open and obviously no flies come in. And then we have the blackout blinds as well, so at night, it is pitch black in here. We have the control center of the van, which is Renergy. And this also has the three switches, which turn off the three different types of light in the van. This also monitors all the electrics, how much is coming in and out, the inverter, the DC to DC, the charge controller, all that is monitored from this area here, as well as the plug sockets and USB ports. Now these are extra special because they are touch lights rather than physical switches. When they are off, they are blue. When they are on, they are red. Just an extra glass, sexy finish to this van. One of the key words we use throughout this van build is sexy. We wanted to build a sexy van and I think we've achieved that. Up above all that, we have the cupboards, overhead cupboards, nice sleek satin finish door handles. We took extra care in make, making sure that all the wood grain continued all along, cutting it out of one piece of wood. And that continues all the way back to the van in a separate cupboard, but with open fronts rather than having cupboard doors on it. The internals of the external extended pods look a little something like this. Now, these have been boxed out to make them a little bit neater, but as I've said before, this adds about four or five inches to the to the width of the van, which allows you to have the bed sideways. And these are also insulated and carpeted to keep that extra warmth in there. But we just wanted to make that look like a bit of a feature also. The bed itself is four foot, just over four foot wide bed, and again, six foot five long. So the customer is quite a tall bloke. This bed is perfect for him. The back doors also feature the wooden lats, but they took a long time <laughs> to get right because we had to make sure that they matched and they were all the same level all the way around, even level with the top of the bed. So again, there's been a lot of maths, <laughs> a lot of thinking, a lot of tears in getting all of this, these features perfect. But it has ended up looking like quite a good feature at the back, back end of the van, which again, wasn't something we planned originally, but as we went on, this is what we've ended up with, and it just, it just looks beautiful. Over the other side of the van, again, we have a matching cupboard 
to this side. The extended pod matches exactly the same. It's very symmetrical, this, this back end of the van. We have a plug socket here, which is for something like air fryers and things like that, but obviously phone charger and all that. Whatever you want to use in the kitchen. I think the customer has a microwave as well. You can use that here. We've got this cupboard above the kitchen which is more like a spice rack for condiments and things like that anything that you would use in the kitchen again we didn't want this to be closed because we wanted to be able to get to things quite easily the sliding door also has the same matching window as the other side of the van we've got the same wooden lats that match again all the way across and then the plyboard on the lower part of the door there the sliding door is all insulated and carpeted same as the theme of the rest of the van moving on to the kitchen now the kitchen is a lovely bit of this van touched on earlier about the oak worktop which we dyed and then varnished with this satin finish varnish we've never done this before we wanted to try it out there's a few black features in this van such as the, the front seats were the, were the start of the black feature but we've got the seat cushions we've got the worktop we've got the induction hob the sink and the tap all to add these sort of black features in there and and i think that it just looks really good this van is fully off grid so it doesn't use gas we use electric the big solar panel on the roof the electric hookup the dc to dc all charges the big lithium battery in the back and that is enough to be able to cook using purely electric so in the heat, height of summer electricity is free you don't have to pay for anything anymore you can have your hot water your heating you can heat your food everything will be won't, won't cost you a thing speaking of hot water we have hot and cold running water to the sink and then it has the extending hose which means that if you want to use it as an external shower point when the sliding door is open you can also do that and move that round and so you can clean shoes or even have a quick shower outside we always like to do this where we're close to the sliding door because it adds that element of sort of being outdoors showering all that kind of thing which is a really nice touch under the induction hob in the kitchen we have the slide out drawer and then a cupboard which has a shelf in it and also has the electrics for the hot water heater and also for the induction hob so they can be disconnected or turned off very easily we have another cupboard here which houses the plumbing but also it has a shelf in there for storage these all have soft close hinges but also have the extra catches on to make sure one of the big things about a camper van is when you go around corners things tend to move and we wanted to make sure that nothing is going to move in this van so this is why we added the extra catches in the middle of the kitchen we have this pull out rack well, this pull out rack is a extra special feature because the lights are on a switch so that when it's closed the lights go off and when you open it they come on so them lights are always available when you open them now you can store your teas and coffees and wine or whatever you want to store in this pot but one of the cool things about it is we decided to put the controls inside the unit so that they aren't on show so here we have the auto term diesel heater this is for the energy power inverter to turn that on and off and then the water level sensor here these two switches for the water pump to make the water work out of here and the other one is for the underfloor heating now that's another feature in this van that we will talk about now wasn't in the original plan of this van but speaking to our friends at bobble vans they suggested that we try and use their camper van underfloor heating which is not many people are doing this in vans not even in expensive motorhomes but we wanted to try it so underneath this floor is underfloor heating run through copper pipe which works from the diesel heater so while the diesel heater is on the hot air from the diesel heater is heating up water the water pump pumps hot water around the floor which gets it so warm it's unreal walking around on this floor with bare feet is just a dream and that's another thing in camper vans that tends to be a a negative the floors tend to be very cold in this one we're never gonna have that problem it's always gonna be hot in here and still we have two kilowatts of hot air coming out into the van to heat it this van is so warm I'm actually really sweating now and there's no heating on it's just such a warm van it's heavily insulated it could go to the Arctic it could go to the desert and the insulation in this van is brilliant and if you do get too hot in this van up above you here is the max air fan now this fan is brilliant because it adds its own lights you can turn those off as with everything else you can turn all the lights off and just have this on it offers white light which is different to all the other lights in the van so you have options to turn lights on and off depending on what mood you're in or what kind of mood you want the van to be in that will suck air in or blow air out whichever one you want but a good feature of this is that when it's sucking air out it's drawing air in from other things so you can have the windows open it will draw air in through the window so that you can have a lot of circulation underneath the seat cushions 
We have a lot of storage, a lot of hidden storage. First of all, the Bobble Vans underfloor heating system is literally this, the heat exchanger and the expansion tank, and the rest goes into the floor. So it doesn't take up any room at all. The air heater is here, which heats the hot air for warming the van up. All compact, compact little system. In trap number two, we have beautiful composting toilet. I'm never gonna, never gonna call it toilet beautiful but this is quite a sexy toilet and then in number three it is just storage toilets are always an issue in vans where people prefer their own type of toilet or this toilet or that toilet it's all customer preference the customer wanted a composting toilet we could have put this on a pull out drawer we could have had this come out from under the bed but in reality that just takes up more room is just more work and for no benefit so having it just hidden under here for the times that the customer will use it is the perfect place to put it again extra time was taken on this one to make sure that all the grains match all the way across here all cut out of one piece of wood it's those kinds of details that we're proud of in this van. Just under the bed here we have the fridge. This is an adventurer fridge with LG technology. 12 volt fridge, uses very little power really. Also has a freezer section, very cool. Again, black feature in the van, just looks dead cool. Underneath the bed is where the electrics and the hot water heater are. We'll show you them now. Garage area, plenty of room in here still, even though we've got big battery, 460 amp power lithium from Fogstar, Renager inverter charger, 3000 watt, 50 amp DC to DC, which is built in solar as well, so that basically splits it off, and it charges your vehicle battery when your leisure battery is full. All hooked up with the RCD, MCVs to the sockets, campsite electric hookup, and then you've got a solar shut off, fuse box your bus bars and then a main shut off just here shut everything off when you're not using it this side hot water tank 800 watt running straight off inverter and it's got a thermostat built in so it kind of just turns on and turns off when it's up to temperature filling point up plumbing running through and then you can still use this bit as well storage and we put in a little touch light hopefully you enjoy this little tour of this van now this isn't just a tour showing off the van this was obviously an advert for services so if you are interested in a van like this we are coalition vans our website is coalitionvans.com although that's probably not updated for a little while but on instagram on facebook and on youtube you can search for liam the terrible and you can see all this van being built from start to finish we do that with every van that we do every van that comes in here we film from start to finish so if you wanted a van building you'd get to see your van built from the ground up if you would like to get booked in drop us an email drop us an instant message drop us a private message drop us a whatsapp whatever you need to do to get in touch with us then do it that way send a pigeon if you want the way it works is you get in touch with us we give you some rough ideas based on previous builds we give you prices based on those also you can tweak the spec slightly and then we'll come up with a final price once we come up with a final price we'll set you in a date where we can get started you bring us a van and then we make the dream happen hope you enjoyed this tour thank you very much for watching and i'll see you soon